Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having a wonderful day. As usual, my name is Carl. All right, so today I will show you my current position and I will also answer some of the questions you've been asking me for the last week and some of the concern also uh, you've been getting. So I'll show you my performance, I'll show you my result and you will see everything what I've been doing for the last month. So guys, this video is very important um, it is important that you watch the old video if you want to properly understand uh, the information that I need to give you. So I'll try to make it as short as possible and I'll try to cover everything that needs to be covered because I know those kind of video can be pretty boring. I know. So I'll let me try to make it um, as quick and as clear as possible. All right, so let me share my screen with you. So by the way, if you don't know what is Crypto Opera, I'll just put the link up here so you can have access to the playlist for Crypto Opera. Because on this video, I'll be sharing my experience, I'll be sharing my result, and you will see exactly how it's been performing for me. So there was two strategies that I was uh, testing for a while now. Actually, it's been over three weeks that I've been uh, testing two specific tra strategies. The first one was the EMA on 30 minutes. And I also told you that the EMA 30 minute is also pretty good on the one hour. And there was the Bollinger Band that I started uh, pretty much at the same time. And those two, I've been running for almost, uh, well, for over three weeks now. So I will show you my result and you will be able to see uh, if it's getting or if it's something close to what you're actually getting. So let's start with the uh, uh, Bollinger Band. So Bollinger Band right now, I have three open position. Uh, my current profit right now, it's 17, uh, just above 17%. So I'm just below the 1% per day. Uh, which is good. It's pretty good. My goal is to be 0.75 or 0.60% at least profit per day. So if I can get anywhere between 5 and 10% profit uh, per week, I'm more than happy. The bank won't give you more than 2, 3 or 4% a year. So if I can manage to make more than that in a week, I'll be more than happy. So let me show you my uh, trade history. So I started this strategy on March 15, exactly. So as you can see, it's been buying and selling. And if you look, everything has been done by strategy, trading stop loss. There was one manual buy here that I did. Um, I was probably testing something, I can't remember. And there might be one uh, manual uh, sell. But if you look, it's all done by the strategy and all the sell happen by the trailing stop loss. So I didn't touch anything. I didn't change anything. I let the bot run by itself completely. And as you can see, all my results are positive except on March 23rd, 15% stop loss. And then the following day, March 24th, another stop loss. And uh, that's it. All the rest is positive. So Bollinger Band doesn't trade as often, but the profit is pretty consistent and it worked pretty good. So let's go at the EMA. Like I said, I did test that strategy on the one hour. I prefer the one hour, but it, it still worked uh, on the 15 minutes. So same thing with this one, as you can see. It's all positive. Actually, this one closed not long ago. Um, this was from uh, actually today, this morning, at 5.51% at the trailing stop loss. So as you can see, all my results, trailing stop loss, trailing stop loss, trailing stop loss. So it's been pretty good. I have one stop loss right here on April 6, 11%. And then if we keep going, look at this one, 11% profit. Um, that was on the uh, April 3rd. So let's keep going. I have a stop loss right here at 12%. That was March 31st. 
and I have another stop loss right here. Oh, those two was at 5%. I was just uh, giving a test at 5%, but like I, I always repeat myself, guy, don't put the stop loss below 8%. You will get killed. Um, it's too low. Sometimes the strategy, uh, sometimes the bot will enter a strategy and the following minutes or hour, it will go be below like minus five, minus 4%. So make sure your stop loss is at least 8%. Don't go any higher than 15, uh, but anywhere between eight 10, 12, it's, uh, it's working pretty fine. Now let's go back on the statistic. So this is for the EMA on 30. So I select the date from March 15 and up to April 9. So for the last three weeks that I've been testing out. So this is my result. So as you can see, I was getting pretty consistent profit on the EMA. So 5%, 1%, 134, 198. 98 and then I got uh, my negative one here and then I got a big loss on the 24th of March. The market was actually uh, going down pretty quickly uh, during that period of time but then it recovered pretty quickly. So zero here, 1.65, 178, 5.18, uh, 5.18 again, 8% uh, 8.68 percent so as you can see the profit was pretty uh, consistent all over the board except for this part here so this for the EMA now let's go take a look at the Bollinger so Bollinger very similar I got a big negative on the 23rd of, a of March, but other than that, if you look at the percentage, I was getting pretty good percentage. And guys, this is all done automatically. I know sometimes some people will do, will have a trading bot and they will start doing manual buy or manual sell, which is perfect. It's all good. But for the purpose of this exercise, I wanted to see if I let the bot alone by itself, how it would perform. So now you see how it's been performing uh, for all that period. I think it's a pretty solid strategy. If you're getting any kind of different result, well, let me know. Um, double check your setting. I'll go through quickly uh, with you uh, on the setting so you can uh, see them. Uh, but it's been running for three weeks now. Um, the market's been pretty good for over a week now. For, for the last seven days, at least, the market was a pretty good. So if you haven't made any good money with your bots uh, lately, there's definitely something wrong with your setting. Let's go take a look right now at the uh, coin market cap and look at all the coins. So if we do uh, for the last seven days, look at all the coin and, and, and all the profit uh, they've been getting for the last seven days. So there was a lot of coin that we know there like Tesla, Tron, VeChain. So that's all coin that we can use uh, with the Crypto Hopper and look at the return. It's just amazing. And there is a lot of them that did a lot of good profit in the last seven days. So if your bot haven't made any money in the last seven days or very slim, well, double check your setting um, because like I said, I'm totally transparent with you guys. That's what I'm getting. I'll go again with my setting. I will show you, but it is working. Those two strategy are working very good. And by the way, if you think this information is valuable, well, I would like uh, if you could give me a like or a thumbs up so I know that you like that kind of uh, content. So let me go very quickly onto the uh, config. So let's go to the EMA, uh, this one actually EMA. I have another EMA one hour that I'm currently testing that I might talk to you about later on, but it's still under uh, testing right now. So I don't want to talk about it too quickly. So this is the EMA 30 minute. Let's go to the setting. Config base config all right so let's start here 
doesn't matter. Uh, the only thing maybe important is the cool down. So I have a cool down here only when it buy a cool down period for 60 minutes. So what it says is just telling crypto upper, don't try to buy the same coin again within 60 minutes. Um, and then coin and amount, that's a personal choice. I can show you all the coin right now I'm using. And this one is on KuCoin. So as you can see, that's all the coin I'm currently uh, trading. No, that's a Binance actually. This Yes, this one is Binance actually. So that's all my coin. Strategy. So that's your strategy. Trailing stop buy. It's enabled. You can use it or not. Doesn't really matter. I do use it. I put 0.2%. Can be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. Don't put anything higher than that. Sell setting. So I put uh, take profit 10% just in case that the uh, price would uh, just spike up. It would pick up a profit at 10%. Sell strategy. This is very important. Make sure it's a disable. Stop loss. Right now I'm at 8%. So that's the lowest I would go. Uh, anything below that, it won't, it won't work. You will get too many uh, stop loss. And, and yes, uh, you will get a lot of stop loss if you put it, let's say, at three, four, five, or six percent. It won't work. So, personally, my experience is at eight percent and up, it's working fine. So, yes, if it does happen, you get a stop loss. Well, you might get one or two once in a while, but it's okay. It's better to have an eight percent loss than to have a ten, uh, five percent loss. Trailing stop loss, so it's enabled. Right now, I'm at 2.8% uh, to arm the trailing stop loss and the uh, trailing stop loss percentage. So I will let it go below 1.4% uh, below the IRS price it would go after reaching 28 But that again, I play with those numbers pretty frequently. If I know the market is a pretty uh, healthy and it's on the uptrend, I will increase this number here so to make better profit. But if I see the market start to go on a downtrend or start moving sideways for many days, usually I'll put this number a lot lower. I might as go as 1.8 here and then put like 0.6 over here. So that could be a, an option. All the three others, I don't use them. Auto close, short thing, dollar cost. Dollar cost, I don't use it. I know some of people have been asking me the reason I don't use it. Dollar cost is good for if you are a long-term investor. Trader will never use dollar cost averaging. If your strategy is not working good enough to make a profit just by using the strategy, find something else. If you're having a strategy that your coin keep going down and down, for me personally, I don't want to invest more money and more money again in that coin until it start to go up again. What happened if the coin never come back up and you're losing all that money? You'll get wrecked totally uh, if you don't really know what you're doing. So I prefer to have a good strategy that will bring me positive profit. So instead of having a strategy that will bring me in the red and then I have to activate the DCA. What DCA does actually is just to reinvest more money in that coin when it's low, hoping that it will come back and the gain or the profit will be big enough to cover for your loss. So for me, I never use DCA. So that's for the uh, EMA 30 minute. Let's go quickly to the uh, Bollinger Band. So Bollinger Band, pretty much same thing, um, same coin we're pretty much close to. So I have my strategy, trailing stop buy, I do the same thing here. So I did set up take profit at 15% uh, just in case, but then again, that's up to you. It doesn't really matter the long-term performance of the bot. Sell strategy, I don't sell using the strategy, but very important for this one also. Stop loss, right now my stop loss is at 10% trailing stop loss so this one I set it up at 2.2 and I let it trail uh, below 1% and all the other three are not being used and if you change something guys don't forget make sure you click the save button if you want to save your uh, current configuration so I can say those two strategy the EMA 
and the Bollinger Band, it's working pretty good. I've been using it now for three weeks, over three weeks. I will let it run maybe for a couple days again because I have more strategies that I need to test, but I'm running out of spot over here. Um, so I'll let them go for a few days more just to make sure, but I'm very confident on those two. They are working. If it's not working for you, well, double check your setting. There is something you do that is not right or there's something that is not working properly. If I can give you a hint or if I can help you about this, the way what you can do, go back on your dashboard. Because I do ask you sometimes, some of you, you're leaving me a comment, say, ah, oh, this bot didn't work for the last week for me. So I'm always replying to you and I'm asking you, okay, perfect, great, let's find a solution. So show me or tell me what kind of result are you getting? If you're getting all red, well, tell me why. So here, if you're getting a minus 10, well, let me know here it's because it's a stop loss. Or if you're getting a red and it says a strategy, well, your setting is wrong. Or if it says a stop loss is at minus 3%, well, your stop loss is wrong. It should be higher than that. So look at your percentage and you'll see from there, let me know why you're getting a red. Okay, first thing. And the second thing, look over here at the bottom. So signal output, there's none on this one. Let's go on my um, EMA. And there's none right now on this one, but if there would be an error, you would see it right here. So look at it, see what's going on. If your bot is not trading or if you don't see any movement uh, on your crypto upper, just look over here. One thing you can try also, do a manual buy. So just select a coin right here, random coin, put a market and put a small amount, let's say like 15 or $20 and place buy order and confirm and see if it's working or not for you. I won't do it. Um, so if it's not working, the error will show up right here. If it's working, well, it would show up at, up here. If you want to let it go, well, you can let it go. If you want to sell manually, you just click here. Uh, but like I said, trading bot with those two strategies, uh, including the first one I did uh, almost two months ago, uh, it's it's done automatically. It will buy by itself and it will sell by itself. You don't have to do it manually. Unless you know that the market is about to crash, you can close all your position manually. But other than that, just let your bot go. It will pick up the profit by itself. If we look right now, see, I have seven open position right now and they're all negative right now. It's okay. The market's been consolidating in the last couple hours. It's all good. I'll just let it go. I'll wait and we'll come back up a little bit later on. Right. So if you think this information was valuable for you, I would really appreciate a like or a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel and you like that kind of video, well, just subscribe and that way you'll make sure that you won't miss any of my future video. So that's it for me. I hope you did like this information. I hope I was able to answer some of the questions you were getting. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you very soon on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.